Well, what I understand from the therapeutic window is a time when the drugs will work. And yes, in fact, most of the drugs, or in fact, all drugs we have today in MS, their effect in one way or other is anti-inflammatory. And so we are really treating, at least to a certain extent, the neuroinflammatory process of the disease. But the problem is with the neurodegeneration, uh, which we don't have at the moment a real something good that would work on it. But if we suppress neuroinflammation, it's likely that neurodegeneration will be less or probably will be slower. So that's, that's important. So it has to be neuroinflammation uh, and this is what generally we'll, we, see, we will see in early times of the disease. And we follow this through what we call either MRI activity, so the appearance of new lesions, active lesions, enhancing lesions, and also relapses. And if we see this, yes, this is what we may still call the therapeutic window where either this or that drug may work. Uh, that is very common in, uh, in our practice. In, if you do follow people with MS, you will see that some of them are doing well, very well on a given drug. But some continues to have some uh, relapses, MRI activity. You can tolerate this to a certain uh, level. So we call the concept no evident disease activity, or as the Barcelona group introduced, minimal evidence of disease activity, where you, have, you can see one or two lesions, but nothing really significant, where you may continue with the same drug. But if the patient is having a new relapse and have a number of new lesions, that means that probably not that the drug is not working, but it's not working well enough. And if we have something stronger, which we do now, it might be the good time to switch a drug. One other re uh, way to switch drugs is because a drug is working, but it's causing side effects and the patient cannot tolerate it or you don't want to continue the risk. So that's another reason when we would switch therapies. And certainly we keep hearing about our, from our patients who are on injectables who want to switch to orals, uh, which, which is easier maybe to go on with. But generally my approach would be if they are doing well on one drug, I wouldn't like to switch.